What's going on everybody? My name is James Reiner and welcome back to yet another console modding video. And today we're going to be taking a brief look at loading PS2 games off of an SD card, which is pretty sweet. So you may be wondering exactly how we can accomplish this, so let's go ahead and look at what we got here. So to be able to do it, we got a fat PS2 back here. We have a SD card adapted micro SD. You can use an SD card, in my case I use a micro SD, to an SD adapter. Pretty awesome. You're going to need a working network adapter. Here I have an original Sony network adapter. And you're going to need some hardware. Now, what this is pretty much doing is like allowing us to replace a hard drive with some adapters to be able to run an SD card and the adapter thinks it's a hard drive which is pretty cool so here we have a SD card to 44 pin adapter and then we have a 44 pin adapter to a uh, three and a half inch ATA or sorry parallel ATA hard drive adapter which then plugs into the network adapter right so kind of hard to do this with one hand. Let me just get this extra network adapter out of the way. So right here we got the SD card adapted or adapter to adapt the SD card to 44 pin. That is then connected into a 44 pin to three and a half inch parallel ATA adapter, which I think is a uh, 40 pin, if I remember correctly. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And then that just plugs right into the network adapter. So this is actually a fully working setup, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, like I said, the homebrew software we run on the PS2 is going to think that this is a hard drive, which is pretty awesome. So some extra little fun things I have down here. I have a SD card to serial ATA adapter, and um, I actually had problems with formatting the SD card at first in WinHip, right? And it turns out that Windows 10 and Windows 7 don't like it when you adapt the SD card to SATA and then adapt this to like a USB adapter. I had a lot of problems and the memory or sorry the SD card would only format when it was actually plugged internally in the computer into the SATA port on the motherboard. So yeah I was happy to finally get that working. So over here we got some games, you know, just for the fun of it. We have Ultraman Pachinko for PS2, In the Groove for PS2, Represent, and Final Fantasy X2 International plus Final Mission for the PS2. The reason why I have these three out here is just because to show that when you're actually loading games this way, the region lock doesn't matter. You can't copy out of region games in the console to this unless you have a mod chip, but you can use a computer to do the same thing, so whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much a full setup. Really easy to do. For uh, the software side, you need a copy of WinHip for Windows. And uh, I'll put a link to all that in the description, plus like the tools that I have here. And you can use that to format the SD card just like you would a hard drive. And then you just pop this into the PS2, and then you're pretty much good to go. Oh yeah, obviously you're going to need a way to boot into a hard drive loading homebrew like HD Loader or OpenPS2 Loader. Personally, I just have a memory card modified with FreeMC Boot, so I just use that. Which, uh, if you're interested in FreeMC Boot, you can see this link right up here <clears throat> and click that to take a look. So yeah, I'm going to pop this into the PS2 and I'll just show you it briefly working. So, hold on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have the PS2 hooked up. We have our FreeMC boot memory card plugged in. So let's go ahead and turn this on. As you can see, we boot into FreeMC boot. Don't mind the mess in this room. <laughs> I really have to clean this room. Uh, so then we go to... Let's, let's load the old school HD loader first. Okay, cool. So here are the games that are currently installed on the SD card. We have a 32 gig SD card, hence the HDD size being 30 gigs after formatting. And let's go ahead and try Zone of the Enders. This is a great game. So, yeah, it works. I have the second game right here. Love Zone of the Enders.
you, you kind of seen some flicker just because it's the CRT being recorded on the camera here. So yeah, that's it. That are that is PS2 games being loaded off of an SD card on this guy. And just to prove it, let me shut this off, pull this out. So yeah, see? Loading off of an SD card. Pretty sweet. Definitely not the most practical setup, but it was just kind of cool to experiment. And uh, yes, yeah, so I guess I'll just list like the parts in uh, the description below for like Amazon so you can check it out if you want. So thanks for watching, and as always, have a nice day.